Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. There are over 17 million shipping containers in the world today, with over 5 million of them actively making about 200 million trips around the globe every single year. As the global economy becomes more and more reliant on international shipping, there arises the need for proper management of shipping containers, both at port terminals and in warehouses. The management of shipping containers is mostly done through precise stacking by forklifts and cranes. These rectangular containers are typically between 20 and 40 feet long and boast a helpful modular construction that makes them easy to stack and store both on the ship and on land. Fully loaded, these containers can weigh up to 67,200 pounds. That's why special cranes and forklifts are employed at most shipping ports. Though these machines are quite powerful, container manufacturers have a lot of built-in features to simplify the stacking process. In order to speed up the loading and unloading process, crane manufacturers have invested in a number of new innovations. One great example is the Ram Tandem Crane, which can move two containers at once with minimal effort, reducing energy consumption while allowing for transport. These efficiency-boosting cranes are already in use at some of the biggest and busiest ports in the world, including Rotterdam in the Netherlands and Doha in Qatar. Unfortunately, most ports are far too large for cranes to do all the work. When it comes to the actual stacking of the containers, specialized, heavy-duty forklifts are employed. These vehicles are truly revolutionary. With the ability to stack containers up to six high in some cases, the larger models can easily lift up to 90,000 pounds thanks to their extended forklift elevator and their low center of gravity. These are the real workhorses of the port, as they can quickly move containers across acres of storage at a time. There are even specialized versions that have a built-in crane to further simplify and speed up the process. Many shipping containers end up on the back of semi-trucks. But when they need to travel longer distances, they are often loaded directly onto trains. This poses a whole new set of logistical problems for ports. This is where special, intermodal ramps have proved a huge help. These are special facilities designed for the fast loading and unloading of containers and trailers. Depending on the need, they can be shipped to rail or rail to truck. In most cases, they again rely on specialized gantry cranes that trains and trucks can merely drive underneath to complete the loading process. One of the things many people often forget about gantry cranes is that they themselves must be moved from one place to another before they can be put to work. Many of these cranes are absolutely massive, with components that weigh thousands of pounds on their own. For this reason, they are typically moved by boat or rail from the manufacturing facility to their final destination, be it a port or an intermodal railway station. In these cases, special shipping boats with built-in cranes are used. This simplifies the loading and unloading process while allowing for secure transport of the crane parts. In short, it takes a crane to move a crane.
In the world of shipyard cranes, few, if any, can compete with the Goliath from Cox. Though it comes in five distinct sizes, the largest model stands nearly 430 feet high and is capable of carrying two 1,000-ton loads at once. It comprises a double girder with one or two upper trolleys and a lower trolley. This crane concept makes the Goliath easily adjustable to specific customer requirements. Despite its size, this twin girder behemoth is extremely precise. This is thanks to a variety of advanced components. Though the Goliath is quite famous, it is far from the only monster crane in development. As cargo ships and cruise liners are getting bigger, innovative maritime transportation logistics keep improving in scale and in scope so as to meet with the challenges of loading them. Thus, the need for cranes with large load-bearing capacities and higher spans. One of the biggest adaptations to the gantry crane marketplace is the development of high-capacity barge servers. These massive structures can operate on railroad tracks on wheels, using a heavy-duty trolley to move cargo containers from ship to land and back again. But where other gantry train designs focus on being as robust as possible, the barge server wants to maximize lifting power and stability while staying very lightweight. Doing so allows them to drive around the port depending on where it is needed at a given time. There are also cranes called feeder servers. These lightweight structures are all about speed. In fact, they can typically move about 40 containers per hour. At large ports, it's not uncommon to see half a dozen of these cranes working in tandem. As the world continues to globalize, shipping will only become more and more important to our economy. The bigger, better, and more versatile the cranes, the more we can ensure products get from point A to point B quickly and effectively. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.